Fetal lung development begins during gestation so that a newborn will be able to perform gas exchange and breathe on their own at birth. This video will provide you with a quick and easy to understand overview of this topic, including the phases of lung development. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is fetal lung development? During birth, a newborn relies on the lungs to develop so that gas exchange can occur from the external environment. Without this process, the newborn will not be able to survive. Lung development is a process of multiple phases that starts during gestation and continues even after birth. In fact, the developmental process is not considered to be complete until the alveoli have enough surface area for gas exchange to occur. This allows for the absorption of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. There are five phases of lung development in humans. The embryonal, pseudoglandular, canalicular, saccular, and alveolar. Each phase has a general time of occurrence where certain events of significance take place. So let's briefly discuss each of the five phases. First, we have the embryonal phase. This phase occurs from approximately day 26 to day 52, which essentially is the first two months of gestation. This is when the development of the trachea and major bronchi occurs. Also, the development of the diaphragm occurs during this stage as well. Then there is the pseudoglandular phase. This phase occurs from approximately day 52 to week 16 of gestation. This is when the development of the remaining conducting airways takes place. Next is the canalicular phase. This phase occurs from approximately week 17 to week 26 of gestation. In this phase, the development of the vascular beds and capillaries takes place. Also, the respiratory bronchioles and alveolar ducts begin to form as well. Next, there is the saccular phase. This phase occurs from approximately week 26 to week 36, and this is the final stage of development that occurs before birth. During this stage, as the name suggests, saccules are formed which are the terminal structures that eventually develop into alveoli, which leads us to the alveolar phase. This stage occurs from week 36 to term. This is the phase where alveoli are formed and can be recognized. At birth, the newborn is believed to have around 50 million alveoli. Keep in mind though that alveolar maturation doesn't occur until up to 18 months post gestation. However, the developmental process of alveoli begins here in the alveolar phase. Just a reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.